All right, so here we have the uh, United Polaris Business Class. This is the uh, 767-300ER series. This is the new updated version. So they have the um, the 111 configuration instead of the 121 configuration. So essentially, you're by yourself. You don't you if you don't want to look at another human being on your entire flight, you really don't have to except the flight attendants. So uh, we'll start off here. Be a little lamp um, over here that you can uh, turn on and turn off. There's a whole switch panel here. Lays the seat back. Your seat actually reclines fully flat. Um, so if you want to lay down to sleep, but hit the little lamp button and turn the lamp off. Let me turn it back on again. You have a remote control for your uh, TV. Got about a uh, 17, 19 inch screen uh, TV here that um, is a touch screen. And you have movies, uh, TV, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So you have a little cabinet here. Whoop, I'm moving my seat. And in the cabinet here, you have a little a mirror. The headphones are usually here. They're wrapped up in plastic. I already unwrapped them. But just a little storage area. Plenty of power ports, USB, um, your headphone jack, and then your uh, regular uh, plug ports here. If you have a jacket or anything you need to hang up, you have a hanger here. You have a uh, reading light here. All right, now let's move down here. We have all of our safety cards. And this is, uh, honestly, for me, um, so if you take one of the odd-numbered seats, you get directly next to the windows. If you take an even-numbered seat, it's going to be on a little bit of an angle towards the middle of the aisle. And... Um, you won't be have direct access to a window. Uh, we have another USB port here. You've got a little shelf here. This is actually really nice. So you push in, bring this out. This is your tray table, and it's it's very sturdy, very stable. It has a separate um, iPad or um, uh, tablet type holder here if you don't have one of those on your own, and then you can just kind of close it up and push it in here to seal it in. Uh, you have the ability to recline, the ability to, there's a leg rest here that will lift up as you can start to see. The leg rest kind of comes up. This little dial here is what lays your seat back and it'll actually lay it flat to a, uh, to a, a completely flat position. Um, oh, so the seat belts here, you have a lap belt, but you also have a shoulder belt that you have to put on as well. So it's very, very um, compact, very, um, very enclosed in. I mean, you can see you just don't have really, don't have to really look at anybody else uh, at all if you don't want to. Um, so it's great for business business travelers who want to get some work done without being interrupted by anybody or anybody looking over their shoulder or doing any of that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so I mean, it's it's been super comfortable for me so far. Uh, I got a lot of storage room under here for bags, uh, even automated other bag storage under here. Just really have a lot of space where you can put uh, put a lot of your stuff um, underneath the uh, the seats here. Uh, and that's about it. So, I mean, Polaris Business Class, 767, 300ER series, tons of overhead space. Um, on this flight, I think we're getting breakfast, like a full breakfast, as well as, uh, you know, drink, you know, complimentary drinks and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to have some coffee and some water since I've been up since 3 o'clock in the morning. But, uh, yeah. So, if you want to see any more... Uh, these types of things. I'm going to be flying Delta First Class later this year. I'm going to do a video of that. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. All right, take care and have a great day.